Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. God is great. I will always praise the Lord all the time. I will sing to praise Him. What all that I am, I will say that the Lord is great. I want weak people to hear that. I want them to be happy. Join with me to tell people that the Lord is great. Together we will make His name famous. Hallelujah. Amen. I asked the Lord to help me and He answered me. He saved me from everything that made me afraid. If you trust the Lord to help you, you will be very happy. Your face will be bright and you will not be ashamed. I was weak and helpless, so I called out to the Lord. The Lord heard me. He saved me from all my troubles. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu. Amen. The Lord's angel is very near to people who respect the Lord. He keeps them safe from danger. Taste and see that the Lord is good. God blesses people who turn to Him to keep them safe. All you people who belong to the Lord continue to obey Him. People who respect the Lord will have the things that they need. Every long, young lion may not have food so that they become hungry, hungry. But people who trust the Lord for help will receive every good thing that they uh, need. Children, come and listen to me. I will teach you how to respect the Lord. Do you want to live a good life? Do you want your life? 
to be long and happy. The Bible, Matthew 19, part 1 to 11. Jesus teaches about when a man sends his own wife away. When Jesus has finished saying all these things, he went away from Galilee. He went to the part of Judah that is on the other side of the river Jordan. Large crowds followed Jesus there. He made the sick people way well again. Some Pharisees came to talk to Jesus. They wanted to see how he would answer their question. They asked, can a man send his wife away so that she is no longer his wife? Is it right for him to do that for any reason he chooses? Jesus replied, you surely have read about this in the Bible. At the start, when God made the world, he made people male and female. Because of this, a man leaves his father and with uh, a man leaves his father and his mother. God joins him and his wife together. The man and the woman become like one body. They are not two separate people any longer. They have come together as one person. God has put them together to be husband and wife, so nobody should make them separate. Then the Pharisees said to Jesus, Moses said that a man could write a letter for his wife. The letter shows that the man and woman are now separate. Then the man can send the woman away. Why did Moses say this? Jesus answered them, Moses said this because you people did not want to obey God. All these things were different at the start, when God made the world. Now I say to you, if a man's wife had sex with, his, uh, with another man, he may send her away. Then he may marry another woman. But if he does this for any other reason, he has done a wrong thing. It is the same as if he had sex with another man's wife. Jesus' disciples said to him, You say this, this is what it is like for a man and his wife. Then maybe it's better if people do not marry. Jesus replied, Not everyone can agree with this idea. But God has helped some people to agree. There are several different reasons why a person may not marry. Some men cannot have sex. They were, they were born like that. Some other people cannot have sex because people did something to them. Some people choose not to have sex. They do not marry because they, because they, then they can work better for God and his kingdom. Anyone who can agree with this idea should do it. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle, Roman 9, part 25-33 God says this in the book of Hosea. I will say to people who were not my people, Now you are my people. I will say to people that I did not love, I love you. God has said to them, You are not my people. In the same place where he said that people I will not call them children of God who lives forever. Also God's prophet Isaiah spoke this about Israel's people. There are so many of Israel's people, nobody can count them. They are as many as 
the beats of sands on the shore of the sea but God will save only a few of them the Lord God will finish his work quickly he has warned his people what he will do and he will punish them completely Isaiah has already said this the Lord of great power has let some of our children live if he had not done that no descendants would remain we would have become like the people in Sodom and Gomorrah so we must think about what all this means the Gentiles were not trying to become right with God but some of them have now become right with him God has accepted them as right because they have believed in Jesus Christ but Israel's people tried to find a law that would make them right with God but they failed to become right with God they failed because they refused to believe in Christ instead they were trying to do certain things so that God would accept them because of that they fell to the ground their feet hit the stone which causes people to fall it says this is in the, the in the Bible look I am putting a special stone in Zion that stone will cause people to fall to the ground it is a rock that will make them fall down but anyone who believes in him will never be disappointed this is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel John 15, part 1 to 17. The branches must stay in the vine. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Some branches that are part of, my, part of me may have no fruit on them. My father completely removes all those branches, but other branches do have fruit. My father cuts all those branches to make them better. Then they will be good and make more fruit. The words that I have spoken to you have made you good already. Continue to live in me and I will continue to live in you. A branch cannot make fruit by itself. It can make fruit only if it continue to be part of the vine. You are like that. You cannot make fruit unless you continue to live in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. You must remain in me and I must remain in you. Only if you do that will you make plenty of fruit. That is because you can do nothing without me. If anyone does not remain in me, that person is like a dead branch. The gardener will throw that branch away and it will become dry. People throw all those dry branches into the fire so that uh, they burn. You must remain in me and my message must remain in you. Then you may ask for anything that you want and God will uh, do it for you if you make pl uh, plenty of fruit that will show how great and how good my father is you will show that you already are my disciples I have loved you in the same way that the father has loved me continue to live in in a way that shows my love 
If you obey what I have told you, you will live in my love. In the same way, I have obeyed what my father has told me to do. In that way, I live in his love. I want you to be completely happy in the same way that I myself am happy. That is why I have told you these things. This is the rule that I give to you. You must love each other in the same way that I have loved you. A person really loves his friends if he dies on behalf of them. Nobody could love anyone more than that. And you are my friends. If you obey my message, a servant does not know what his master is doing. So I do not call you servants any longer. No, I call you my friends. This is because I have told you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you to go and to make plenty of fruit. That kind of fruit will continue always. For that reason, the father will help you with anything that you ask him. If you ask him in my name, he will do it for you. This is what I tell you to do. You must love each other. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Then do not speak any evil words. Do not tell lies to deceive people. Do good things instead of evil things. Try to bring peace into people's lives. The Lord watches over righteous people. He hears them when they call to him for help. But the Lord turns against people that do evil things. He causes everybody to forget that they never that they ever lived. The Lord hears his righteous people when they call for help. He saves them from all their troubles. When people are upset, the Lord is near to them. He saves those who feel weak. Righteous people may often have troubles, but the Lord saves them from every danger. Preaching Without, don't start your day without uh, these uh, promises. God is the only one in your life that will never go back on a promise. Claim this powerful promise on your life. Amen. I claim God hears my cry and he will deliver me from my trouble today. Amen. The righteous cry out, and their Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Wait until the end to see a key promise. I claim that I am full of strength and power, and, and nothing I face today will be too much for me. I will overcome. Amen. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. He has plans for my life. I will not fear. He will direct me where I need to go. Every detail in his and, and I will, for I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Amen. Breakthrough in my life. A flood of God's power, love, and provisions. I am overwhelmed with the troubles around me. I claim He will send 
a flood of healing and waters. I will be with you. And when you pass through the river, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flame will not set you ablaze. Amen. The wisdom to know that there, there will be struggles, hardships, and sickness in my life, but they are only temporary. I will not be faced by them. I will be the victor as God's wisdom. You should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Amen. Entities is no longer in my life. I claim freedom and happiness in Jesus. I will be blessed and loved by the Lord and delivered from evil. Amen. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I ask God, hear my heart and fulfill his promises. I have no doubt knowing he will take. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord keeps them safe. Not even one of their bones is broken. Evil things will return to kill wicked people. Whoever hates God's own people will receive punishment. The Lord saves the lives of his servants. Everyone who trusts the Lord to keep them safe will not receive punishment as a guilty person. God, please help me. Lord, speak against those people who speak against me. Fight against those people who are fighting against me. Yes, pick up your shield and put on your armor. Prepare to fight and give me help. Take your spears and throw them to stop the people who are chasing me. Say to me, I will make you safe. Prayers of Intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. 
Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, 
through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, of, uh, cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great High Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours, now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, 
with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Cause the people who want to kill me to become ashamed. Chase away the people who want to hurt me so that they become confused. Make them become like chaff that the wind blows away. Send the angel of the Lord to chase them away. Make their way dark and dangerous as the angel of the Lord chases them after them. They hid a trap to catch me. There was no reason. There was no reason for them to do that. They even dug a deep hole for me to fall into. Surprise my enemies and destroy them. Let their own traps catch them. Let them fall in their own death. Then I will be happy because of what the Lord has done. I will be happy because of He has made me safe. Hallelujah. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.